Hi there, everybody. It's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. I have my new annual catalogue projects. So excited. I actually rearranged my work desk a bit today so that I could look out of the window to see the postman actually arrive with my box. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just going to give a few seconds for a few people to join. Hope you've all had a good day. I've got the new catalogue here. Hi, Tilly. Hope you're okay. Hi everyone else who's joining us. So I've got the new catalogue and most importantly I have my scissors because every time I do an unboxing video I always forget my scissors and then I can never open anything to show you so they were the first things on my desk. Hiya Hilary. Just got to remember not to stab myself with it. So for anyone joining, if you like anything that I'm showing you in the unboxing and you want to purchase it, my website is slimandstylish.com. You can find all the details below in the description box, but you can only find that once I've finished um, doing the live because I can only edit it after them. If you are shopping with me and you go to my website and you go up to the top header and you click buy, you can go to my store. If you pop anything in your basket to purchase, don't forget to use my hostess code because then you get a special thank you goodie from me. Hiya Catherine, hope you're okay. And if you do have any questions or queries, my email address is slimandstylish at live.co.uk. I realise that's small, but like I said, I will put it in the description. So, I've got a few people on now. Let's get started. Let's see what we've got. I will apologise first and foremost because my In Colour Club is coming separately. That's in a separate box and that's not arriving till tomorrow. But it means I get the joy of having two boxes arrive. So I do have a little bit of it here. This is my personal stuff, the stuff for the club's coming tomorrow, but my personal ones, we have the new in colours, Bumblebee, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight and Magenta Madness with the coordinating blends. How exciting. Unfortunately, Bumblebee doesn't have matching blends. Boo. But um, if you're part of my colour club, um, you'll know because I've messaged you, you can pick any other blends on that month to replace the Bumblebee ones. But look, this is the ribbon that goes with it. This is the Bumblebee one. So this is really nice. Um, I've already seen this on a card because Karen, who is on the call, sent a card with this Bumblebee ribbon on. Also in the In Colours, I got the In Colour Enamel Dots. I know, looking forward to playing with those. I do like colouring the rhinestones, but it's not the same as having them already in the right colour and being able to put them on. And they are also very, very slightly glittery, so they're kind of fun. And I got the In Colour DSP that matches this. So if you're in my In Colour Club, you will receive this anyway. There are still spaces in my In Colour Club, so if you're watching and you fancy joining it, just just contact me and I can hook you up. So there's the Just Jade papers, this is six by six. I'm much happier with six by six paper. When I have 12 by 12 paper, I feel guilty cutting it. So six by six works for me. Wood effect and paper. This, all oh, this is in all different languages. So European girls, this, they've got French in here, German in here. Um, I presume they might have other lang languages. I'm not sure because my languages are really bad. Hi Sophia, hi Ivy. But yeah, that's really nice. It's got English on there as well. Sorry for any of my English customers. Um, it's to love what we do and share what we love, which I think is, is really nice. It's the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart. And then we have the textured one and the circles. So in this pack, you get... Um, four of those in that colour and four of these ones so you get eight in each colour really but they're double sided. Oh no Ivy don't ask what it says in German. I, w I went to Germany with Ivy and um, <laughs> the 
only word I can remember is icing sugar. <laughs> don't ask me. I never ordered icing sugar. So don't, don't ask me how I remember that. But yeah, there's the bumblebee one. Misty Moonline. Cinnamon Cider. And Magenta Madness. And yeah, Pudazucker. I saw it at breakfast and that was the word I remembered. So that's my favourite colour out of all of them now. Like even the normal colours, normally I'm a Highland Heather type girl um, and I like Granny Apple Green, but now Magenta Madness has stolen it. It is now my favourite colour. And in addition in the haul, I snuck in some Mellow Mambo blends as well because these are also new. Even though it's an existing colour, we have new blends in that. Exciting. So first up, this is what I'm most excited about by the way. Boho Indigo Product Medley. Very excited by this. These product medleys are really good value. Um, I know it's at the start of the catalogue, so let me just flick to it so I can tell you how much this is. Um, it's £65, but wait until you see exactly what is in it. The, there is just so much. So £65 gets you this white box. I know I've opened it. There we go. And in we go. Look, it is full. Right, so I've got a stamp set. And coordinating dies. So let me pop everything else to the side and I'll grab them all and go through them. So the stamp set is this one. It is a clear mount stamp set. And I, I just love the fonts on this. The coordinating dies that go with it. Oh yeah. Let me get my nails in. Are these? Oh, I love those. That's going to be really great to layer that up. And look how many different vases we get. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 dies to go along with this. And it coordinates. So once you've actually stamped them, you can cut them out. The ribbon is gorgeous. Ivy, I haven't got the ribbon yet. You're, you're plot spoiling. You are. But here's the ribbon. <laughs> there are two different ribbons. Oh, you're right, it is nice. So, got this one first. Didn't even use my scissors then. Pure muscle to get that open. Oh, that's really nice. It's frayed on the edges. I don't know, is my camera zooming on that? Is it blurry? Can you see? Um, I, think, I think it's blurring. I'm very sorry. Let me see if I can get something white to pop underneath it. Um, frayed at the sides it's like a corduroy really nice that and this one here is gold and glittery Ooh. so it's gold and glittery but it's striped and it's quite a rough ribbon so as you actually do your bows with that that's going to hold you know sometimes some of the ribbons are too satiny and your bow slips that that's going to stay in place that's not gonna, yeah, that is, that's gonna stay in place. So that's a really nice ribbon that goes with it. Also in the medley, I know there's more. We've got paper and we've got two sets of embellishments. Oh, by the look of it, look at these. So we've got some really cute little embellishment flowers. How adorable are they? And then you've got slightly bigger ones as well. And I'm going to tell you something that I think is really, really bizarre is the little ones are in this great big bag and the big ones are in this small bag. I think I think someone packaged those up wrong. But those are the two embellishments you get. And as you can see, there's quite a few of those in the packs. And the ribbon, sorry, not ribbon, the paper. Oh, look at the colours of these. Isn't that lovely? Ooh, foil bits. Who 
Who doesn't love foil bits? Two sheets of those. They're gorgeous. Love those. Is there, is there any one of that pattern? Okay, well. Oh, I see why, because these are embossed. So that one there is embossed into um, diamonds. This one here is like flowery embossed. Ooh, circly. Oh, there's two of that nice circle pattern. I think there's going to be two of each pattern, maybe, because there's... Oh, no, they're gold foil ones again, so we've got more gold foil. I see what they've done here. They've hidden, like, the paper in between to make it... <gasps> more, more of the triangles. They've made this, like, a little treasure. Oh, hoo -hoo. treasure hunt. They're nice. So they actually look like the dies, but they're just pop-outs. So that, that's lovely. You can assemble straight away. So the actual paper you get is that pattern. Ooh, that pattern. This pattern. This is stunning. This is a gorgeous medley. And again, six by six, is which oh, is one of my favorite papers when they're six by six. Loving that. You could have a whole unboxing video on this medley and it's 65 quid and you get all of this. Bargain, I think. There we go. Other than the ink and the card stock to stamp on, you've pretty much got your whole stamping supplies in here. You could just go. Which I suppose is the idea of the kit and the medley. And that there's loads of sheets of that paper, as you can, can see. Loads of it love that so I think it's fair to say quite a few of my videos coming up if you watch them hopefully you do are going to be featuring that I'm just going to pop the paper back in there and these little bits because I don't want to lose them if you watch any of my videos you know I lose things all the time if you were on my live at the weekend I found my paper trimmer downstairs where where Ivy said it would be so there we go. Next up, right, we'll delve in with a couple of the sweets. So this one here I think is stunning. This is the prized peony sweet. So I have got the stamp, which is a cling mount stamp. There is a coordinating die in the catalogue to go for this. Um, I chose not to get the die for this one. I got a die for a couple of the other sets instead and I figured I'd fussy cut this one because uh, budget wise I did go a little bit to town this time. These are square vellum doilies. <laughs> They're quite cute. like those. And I also like, um, again I want to show them you're not on a pattern. That's that's bad. Don't put them on to white hells. Um, but I like that there is a circle in here. So if you wanted to go with traditional doily, you could just cut the edges off and have the circle. And then you still also get the edges for the card. I know. I was looking at that in the catalogue thinking that's what I'm going to be doing. Brilliant. Oh. You need to pop them into your next order, Sophia. Shimmer ribbon quite nice. Let me, uh, I put my scissors on the desk for a reason. Let's get using them. How many other people stab themselves with the scissors when trying to get into the ribbon? There must be a better way of trying to get into the ribbon. Either that or there must be, must be less clumsy people than me. There's the glittery shimmy ribbon that goes with it. Love that. There is also some elegant faceted gems. So they're, they're all faceted, so they look like they shine loads. But we've got clear ones, white ones, and we've got sort of petal pink ones. And you get 90 in that pack, so that's quite good. Like I said, the stamp set. And here is the paper. If you're in my DSP share, this is included. If you're not in my DSP share and you're thinking, I would like some of this, let me know, because I actually have two spaces left. Well, I say I have two spaces left. I have two or six spaces. I do them on a four person per share. So um, I have two to complete one share or 
six if we start another one so if you want to join just let me know and you can join that anytime during the year just drop me a message so if you're watching this delayed and thinking i can't get it you, you can Ooh. oh look marbly background oh i like that there's something about pinks and smoky slates and pinks and greys isn't there they're, they're gorgeous so this is 12 by 12 paper and you get two of each different designs and they're double sided unless you're in the paper share and then you get one of each design and you get it cut six by 12. Okay. And anyone who's watching is in the paper share, I know I spoke to you yesterday to let you know this was coming out. They will be in the post as soon as possible. And then the final one is this one. So it's all pink. Oh, that coordinates with that. Um, you know that embossed paper that I've just shown you in the um, boho suite. That is just like that. But yeah, pinks and greys. Love that. Hi, Norma. Lovely to see you. Happy morning to you just finished work and I've had my delivery of all my new goodies so I thought I'd pop on and show everyone what I've purchased. I'll explain to people now why I can't see them forever because I'm bankrupt. <laughs> I'm not really but I, I think this is one of the best catalogues we've had so um, I'm quite excited about it. So this one is Playful Pets. I've got a slightly bigger box delivered than usual. So many nice stuff. Hi Kay, thanks for joining. So Playful Pets is also 12 by 12 um, DSP. And again, you get two of each sheet. But like I said, if you're in my, um, in my paper share, you get a six by 12 and you get one because you get a quarter of all the paper. I'm looking to see if I can see a Noble. So my puppy Noble is a um, Staffy Cross with a Wattweiler and he's black and I, I, I'm a sucker for black dogs to be honest but I do like him, he's quite cheeky yeah he's quite cheeky ooh the other side of this is quite interesting I'm a dog girl so I'm going to skip past the cats do we have any cat people? it's quite interesting for a background cats again, oh he looks a grumpy cat <laughs> yeah I like that one, he looks grumpy <laughs> Fish and Hearts. Oh, I like that. That one's lovely. Oh, no. Why have they done that? That was my favourite DSP um, pattern in the pack. And I love that one. It says, um, play, love, bark, woof, dig, chase, scratch. Not in German, Ivy. In English, I can say all of that. <laughs> and then this one has got feathers and fish and ooh, more writings this one's got a meow purr snooze yawn oh that's definitely a me that's a sleepy one so uh, that's the paper and it coordinates with the pampered pets stamp set again this is available with a die i didn't get the die um i got dies for other sets instead but um i think he's quite cute and i like the fact you can get his back not very often you can do that so that's nice like that um it's cling and i like the fact that it's got a paw on the fish bowl so if you've got the stamp and write markers you can actually just color the paw and you can just stamp that so you just get that stamp on its own so like i said that's also going to be in my um paper share so i bought my extra extra papers ready funny story about that but I'll tell you another time so other papers is whale of a time six by six my favorite I'm too precious and um, Karen Tilly from Tilly Crafts she's on she keeps trying to get me to cut my paper but when it's 12 by 12 and it's pretty I don't want to cut it it's too nice so that's the first design the fishies and the second 
And I'm going to be a sucker for this as well because I've got a tortoise. So one set with dogs and one set with turtles and it's, it's always going to happen. Oh, lots of turtles. I know I've got a tortoise and these are turtles, but to me, they just look the same. So I'm, I get excited by them. Whales. Crabs. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to be hoarded and looked at and stroked ivy, I think. But um, Karen has me cut it. And then I get stroppy like a little kid. Don't make me cut my paper. It's too pretty. More turtles. I like that one. Ooh, seahorses. With the waves. Um, jellyfish. Whales. That's quite quite nice so that is the um the set of the whale of the time papers there is a coordinating stamp set with it but i didn't pick it up you can see it in the catalogue um but yeah that's that's also included in the paper shirt and so is this one this one is artistry blooms so you can guess my job tonight is going to be sitting and cutting all of these up to post out tomorrow. Quite like that. Ooh, I like that. I, I like patterns that aren't patterns, if you know what I mean. I like them like this because I feel like I can, I can do a lot with them and I can do them upside down any which way. I can use like every bit of that. So do quite like it when you get ones with patterns on like the dogs for instance you've got to be very wary of which way around you're putting it because you don't want your dog to be on its head yeah i quite like this paper do you like that it's nice colors as well it's nice and bright so there the rest of the papers and um, I did do a haul video a few weeks ago that had all of the other papers on so these are the other papers that are included in the share and you can check those out in the other haul video so go and have a look over there if you're interested in those right bundles bundle bundles so I did get some stuff with dies so I've got two stamp and die sections I'm really excited about this one. This is going to be my favourite set, I can tell already. All things fabulous. Because it's florals and it's pretty. And it's also the double stamping, like where you do a light colour stamp it and a darker colour over the top and you pop the leaves with it. So I'm quite excited about that. And there were some lovely samples in the annual catalogue. And the dies. So they've got a nice trellis with them but you've also got the coordinating dies for all the different bits so you can build a proper floral 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 display I'm trying to think of the word floral layout layout and then we've got nothing's better than and i love this because it's got cocktails in it i think k's on k look cocktails k is my cocktail buddy um but yeah, muffins and cookies and things. And I did notice that the dies that match it have them in letters. So look, cocktails as your actual die and your actual cocktail to pop out. And chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? Oh, Ivy, you don't like chocolate, do you? Um, cookies, do you eat cookies, Ivy? But yeah, the actual sentiment is love you more than. So once you've... Um, die cut that out you can then pop in anything with it but whatever it is it's your favorite I'm not sure whether i love anyone more than cookies and chocolate and things. oh hillary do you not like chocolate what about like the muffins and cookies i think it's a nicer i like that 
So those are my die and stamp bundles. I also have stamp and punch bundles because I love our punches. Our punches, our Stampin' Up! punches are amazing. They're really quite heavy, but to me, that means they're really well made. You're not going to drop them and break them, you know, they're solid. So, this is the Posted For You stamp set and the Coordinating Punch. But for me, let me quickly find this in the catalogue, because I'm sure you'll love this as well. I, I, was, I was sitting on the edge about this stamp set. And then I saw the um, posted to you. By the way, do you've noticed there's like, um, if you're ever sure, unsure on a set, there's a glossary at the back, so you can go straight to it. Page 81. Yeah, I was unsure about this stamp set, but then I saw this card. That's a Helen card. I love that. I was always going to get the punch because it's quite good for sentiments. But as soon as I saw that card, I got the stamp set as well. I sold it. So that was using that stamp and it was using that one with a sentiment over. And I just, I thought that was definitely a me card. Lovely You Cling Stamp Set. So this is quite cute. It's got really nice um, fonts on it, but it comes with this punch. And I will do a demonstration separately in a different video um, of this punch because you can make like six different tags. Now I wasn't gonna get this punch until Kay, who is on this call, had this punch and told me how amazing it was. And then we had a Zoom crafting thing and she used it and I fell in love with it. So um, it's gonna be quite clever. You can make sort of quite a few different types of tags with it. So I will pop put a video on, look out for it, showing you how many different tags you can make with the lovely U bundle. Not technically a bundle because it was already available. So during celebration, you could purchase um, or earn this flower. You can now purchase it from the catalog. And here is a coordinating stamp set that goes with it. Um, no sentiments, but I just like the flowers and the fact you can punch it out and build your own vase. In case you haven't noticed from all my previous purchases, I am a floral type of girl. So uh, I know that that's going to be getting lots of use. And finally, a whole heap of individual stamp sets. I know. What? I, I just, there was so much lovely in the catalogue that I just got a whole heap of them. So I'm going to run through them for you now. So I've got Game On, which is a cling stamp set. I like this. I love the chessboard. I'm a bit of a geek, so for me, I think that's quite, quite good fun. Fancy phrases, again, back with the florals, and also it's got really good fonts. So that was always going to be a winner for me. So much love. Blends. Get colour in that one in. Got Seaside View. I don't often, there's a reason I got this one, I don't often make landscape cards. I often stick to like pretty flowers and things like that and I don't actually build a scene. So I thought this would be good, it would push me out of my comfort zone and I'd be able to see something I can do with it. And use perhaps my watercolour pencils rather than my blends. Still an idea at the moment, but we'll see how that one works out. Monogram messages. And while I think the stamp set is amazing, I actually got it because it has a H in it for Halsey um, and I quite liked that so I was being a bit vain and got my H but I do quite like all these little bits that go with it and the fact that you can mix and match to make it up your own phrases so it is good but it's my H. <laughs> Flowering blooms because we know I like floral but I like all the shadows on this I'm looking forward to getting my blends in there. Shocker. Gorgeous posies. So this has actually a kit. I did not get the kit, but um, Karen Tilly, who is on um, here, but she's on YouTube as Tilly Crafts, she did an unboxing yesterday, I want to say it was, could have been the day before, and she purchased this. So do go over and check because I was sitting on the fence until I saw it in her unboxing. So for this one here, you've got the project kits. 
you've actually just got the kit up here unlike the medley it doesn't all come together you've got the kit and then you've got the stamp set separately so gorgeous poses was 18 pounds and the kit is 30 and karen got the kit as well as the stamp set and it it was beautiful so this here that i actually i didn't re see it properly i thought that was a like memories and more card it's not it's a gift box i know that that's not a clue on there is there really but it is a gorgeous gift box it was probably about this big um because i saw karen holding it go and have a look it's amazing and all of these bits come in with it so it makes 16 cards four of the four designs and you have got some ribbon some trim you've got the punch out bits again where you can just pop them out and pop them on your card and build them up so when you can make your cards using the kit and then if you have the stamp set you can embellish them you can add them more but you can just get away with the kit and then just get away with the um, stamp set either way where they've put the um, sentiments on you'd obviously need the stamp set for that but if you've got stamp sets at home you can use different ones so you can purchase either or but I would recommend go and have a look at Karen's when this video is uploaded I will actually pop a link to that down below because it was beautiful um, Zany Zebras, how cute is he? Look, he's so happy. I just think he's adorable. And it's got you party animal, so I'm always going to be a fan. And Field Journal. This one fell in my basket by accident. I didn't want it, it wasn't on my list. And then all of a sudden, as I was putting the order in, I had a final flick through the catalogue to make sure I hadn't missed anything, and then saw this. And I think it's gorgeous. So, uh, it literally leaped out the catalogue into my shopping basket. But this is a cling stamp set as well. But I just, I think that's adorable. I think we can make some really nice cards with that one. So that was my haul. Previously, on my pre-order, I had already got these stamp sets. So they all come together now. So I've got some flowers, tasteful touches, ornate banks, blossoms in bloom, and the all night style and these come with super cool dies which i do have but for the life of me i can't remember where i put them um last few weeks i've just been a bit bit disorganized but um i do have those and i made a card with them so if you go back to my previous haul you'll be able to see that so i thought this was going to last a bit longer because i knew i had a massive great big box should we do some stamping what set shall i play with was there any that sort of grabbed your attention? Which which ones do you fancy? Hiya, Cindy. Just opened all my goodies that have arrived from the new catalogue and I'm just about to do some stamping. So uh, which, which set should we play with? I can't actually play with fancy phrases because I've got a play date arranged with that. There's um, a few demonstrators who I know who have also purchased the same set and so we've got a um, play date to play with it together but yeah which one should we play with uh two zebras one field journey one gorgeous posies okay so we've got field journey same zebras and gorgeous poses and another zebra okay i think the zebras are winning but i'll keep the others to the side and if we're quick we can we can see what we're doing so zebras Alright, let me grab some paper, it's just behind me. A few years ago we had one of those kits that was the perennial birthday kit, do you remember it? I keep all of my cardstock in here already cut, ready to go. So if you were looking at the gorgeous poses and thinking what am I going to do with that box when it's finished, that's what you can do, keep your cardstock in it, it's great. So, which one should we, should we play with? He's great. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. So, he's there. I'm not going to pop my um, bottom right. Oh, okay, I've gone bottom left. Let's go bottom right. Oh, yes, he's quite cute. I'm not going to pop the... Um, the sticky on the back. So, if you're using cling stamp sets you you get these um actually i will so i can show you what what i mean because otherwise i'm going to be really bad at explaining them so you get these sticky labels 
and you pop your stamp set on it. And this is just for cling, photopolymer you can obviously th see through. So you stick them on and this is now really tacky and will stick to your blocks really good and you can also see what you're stamping. So any names yet? No, no names yet Ivy. Give me a chance, just had them. This is Sebra in um, Madagascar, isn't there? What's the Zebra's name? I can't think of his name. Oh, he's quite cute. Okay. I could have masked him actually and put a hat on him, but I'm not going to. Um, you party animal because I like that one. Marley, is it Marley? Because I feel like he was a jumping one because wasn't he the one who tried to escape? Um, he tried to escape the zoo and get to Madagascar. So that one can be Marley then. Melman? Was Melman the giraffe? My film knowledge. But if my godchildren were here, they'd be like shouting at me, Helen, it's this, it's this. So. Oh, okay. So actually, I've just thought of something that I'm going to do with that. Let me grab my little trimmer. I've made back friends with it, by the way, Karen. I know the other day I wasn't, I wasn't in love with it. I fell out with it. I've made back friends with it again. So an inch... Okay, so that will now, if you cut it at an inch, it will fit in there, and I don't want it that long. Mm, there, yeah. So you've got, and you've got loads of different sizes. So you've got an inch. It looks like you've got three quarters of an inch and a half an inch as well. And depending on how big your paper is, depends on the size you um, um, tag you get. So let's open it. Pop that in. Has that gone all the way? I don't feel it has. You too wide. Let me just do a little bit of trimmer. This is the problem with playing with new stuff, you see. If it goes it goes wrong and you haven't worked out all the uh, nooks and crannies, you're you're a bit stuck with it. But there we go, let's just do do do. Ah, oh, okay. So you do have to kind of wiggle it to get it in and push it down. So where I was there, I'm a bit high, so you need to push it down. Ooh, I like that. Okay. If I'd got this smaller and I'd just done that bit, I could have then layered it up, you see? You know where I'm going. Okay, so let's chop him down. So I've done him five centimetres by six centimetres. So this is the new Magenta Madness. Six and a half by five and a half. And I have it on my side as a scrap from my live I was doing the other day. on there. I feel this one's a girl, the zebra ivy. I think I've decided. Ooh. 
Okay, new blends. So, Magenta Madness. Purchased some new seam binding as well. You didn't see me open it in my haul because it's not new. It's from the um, mini catalogue. But I'd run out of it because I use it for everything. So let me... Um, do about that much yet. Yeah. Oh, look how bright that is. Oh, Susie's a good name. Yeah, he couldn't really be a boy after I picked up Magenta Madness, could she? Okay. Then I'll do a little bit more so I can get myself a, t a tail. Look at me messing my grid paper up. be the size of that. Just just looking, assessing where I'm going with this. Sided at the top. It's a hard decision that. Should have used the green the grid paper to line that up. That's not straight. There we go. Okay, get a bow. And then for cuteness, because Cindy has just given me a great idea, I'm calling her a party animal, Susie. So I'm actually going to give Susie a little pink mohawk. Ha ha ha! She's a little party animal, she's a punk. Um, just grab some dimensionals. party animal um, I'm not sure where I'm going to pop her where do you think Oh, I'm thinking there. Ah, oh, the jaunty angle. Okay, okay. Yeah, actually, it does. She's a punk. She would be. Uh, she would be partying on the side. the ink colour enamel dots here and I haven't got my piercing tool because I didn't think I was going to be crafting but then 
but you can't have new stuff and not crack, can you? So. Mm -hmm. That stuck really well. Uh, pop them in the corner. And then... Got the right nails for this as well. I can't tell which is the dot and which is my nail. Two, three. like that and then have I got a piece of magenta madness that's big enough to pop her in I haven't um for the background just gonna quickly run to my guillotine over here so that you can see the finished card um 10 centimeters by 14.25 card base <laughs> so bright love that pink stick it straight house What do we think? Got to give a pink hooves as well. Yeah, paint her nails. Oh, and a tail. Actually, she's not just going to have a little bit of colour in her hair, is she? Look at Kay. She knows. Susie. So what are, what other sets did we say? Field journal and gorgeous posies. Okay. Who who said which one? Um. Hillary said field journal. Ivy said per, uh, gorgeous poses. Is that what she said? Yeah. So we'll go with gorgeous poses first, and then I'll move on to field journal. Um. Oh yeah, know where I'm going here. Again, I'm not going to stick them onto the stickers. I'm going to do that afterwards. I find that really therapeutic. Does anyone else find that really therapeutic? And those little dots. Do I want the big flower? Mm, no. Okay. got a slightly smaller piece of uh, Whisper White this time so that I can pop more colour behind it. Oops. What stresses you out Sophia? See what's stressing me out, I can see the mess at the side of my desk. <laughs> Oh, it stresses you out sticking the backing on. And it, Hillary's already stuck all hers on. No, I like it. I think it's really therapeutic. Pop them in the post to me. I'll do them and send them back to you. <laughs> so, granny apple green for my leaves. Gorgeous grape for the buds. Oh, no, look, it's double stamping. So, Highland Heather for the buds and gorgeous scrape for the little bits in the middle. How did I miss that? Let's uh, get that out. Oh, I see. And that bit goes in the middle of the eaves. Oh, how clever. Ivy, you chose a, a clever set. I could be the voice in meditation audios. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that about someone with a brummy accent before. So if it's a double stamp set, I should be able to stamp that and then use gorgeous grape. Um, ooh, OK. 
Okay. Oh yeah, good choice of, of set, Ivy. Okay, I'm going for the big flower now. I wasn't 100% sure, but now, I'm, now I know where I'm going. Oh, I have to lean. I have all my um, blocks on my window sat, windowsill so I can look out the window when I'm crafting. When I come to film, I move a little bit away. It's like, ooh. Um, that was what was falling. I was leaning back to get a new, new block. Just got to remember which colours are which here. Like this. So I'm just going to create a background with it. <laughs> quite big leaves to, to fit into a background. I think I'm going to end up over my purple, but yeah, it doesn't matter. No one's going to see that bit. Like it, I like it. That would be quite good for making your, your own DSP. And then I'm just going to grab some So Saffron because I think everything can be improved by So Saffron. This is the um, little bubbly bit. <laughs> right, so I'm going for, for a very kind and thoughtful friend because I quite like that. And also I think it's going to allow me to be able to um, try that tag punch out again because that was looking fun so get it the right way around do you notice how I lined that up and then still didn't get it straight that's why I think I like the stickers on the back For a very kind and thoughtful friend. I like that sentiment. <laughs> and my mini trimmer. Oh, Ivy, you're going to laugh at me. Guess what I've lost? My mini oh, I've got the stamp set on top of it. <laughs> Am I the most organised person in the world or what? So that's a half an inch there. Okay. Let's see how we do with this one. So I'll, I'll pick this side instead this time. I've left it just a little bit too fat. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm sorry, Sophia. But yeah. In all fairness, um, I got upsold yesterday when I watched um, Karen because she had the box that went along with this and I was like, I missed that. I honestly d didn't see in the picture that it was a box. I thought it was, um, it was like the memory and more cards. And I thought, oh, I've got loads of those. I, I don't need any more. And then when I saw Karen unbox it, I was like, oh, I need that. So push that in. Pop that in there. Okay, so that's like that. And then have I 
got some Highland Heather or some Granny Apple Green. There we are. Granny Apple Green. So let's just trim that so it's three quarters of an inch. Let's try that. Is that sort of, I think I want it a little bit shorter. I do want it a little bit shorter. Three and a half inches. <laughs> yeah, Ivy, I can make things disappear. Problem is I can never find them again. So then that will just stick on there, like that if you see what I mean, so it actually makes its own tag and it it follows the same sort of pattern. Hopefully you can see that but that's what I've done. We'll pop that on there. And then dimensionals where that bit went over there that I wasn't happy with I'm going to stick that tag so no one sees it shh only us know <laughs> do you know I don't think I want that I want it on the back him I might do that there's no rule that says the backing has to be around it on all sides. I noticed that wasn't very straight, by the way, so I'm just straightening it. Um, I'm going to do it like that. And then... two cards and finally the last set that we said was field journal I haven't forgotten Hillary yeah that punch to be honest I thought oh I've got a tag punch I don't understand why I need that one but then I saw it and I was like I do I do need that right so Which stamp set on this one did you like, Hilary? I've got the big leaf set out. I was thinking of perhaps putting the um, ladybird as a pop-up off it, maybe. No. Big leaf. Oh, yes, yeah, so this one. Any others with it? I preempted that, look, I already got it off. <laughs> I quite like how this is sort of distressed -y, you know, like it's got all the shadows on it. So, we'll go for a portrait card this time. Ooh. And I'll pop my sentiment on. Um... A wonderful person like you makes life even better. That's quite a nice sentiment, isn't it? Memento. that straight oh look at that don't look at it I'm coming back with a new piece of card 
scrunch up I wasn't well into that. I'm getting my head in now because I'm trying to lean over to see if it's straight and right. Sorry. Right. If you're not getting it straight twice in a row, just chop a bit off the side. Oh, look. Third time is a charm. Let's just turn it over. There's a reason why there's two sides of paper. Fingers nowhere near, head not in shot. This one, it does beg for blends, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know where it's going, don't you, Ivy? Ta da! Right, need my leaves back now. <laughs> <laughs> can never get them 100% right 100% of the time. And actually, I needed some spare paper because I want to stamp. I've actually decided I'm going for the squirrel. I changed my mind. So I'm going to stamp him. get a bigger block come on thank you oh look at him okay so there's him there's my card a punch This is the two and a quarter inch punch. <laughs> He's quite cute. Okay. Do we think that he is cinnamon cider and I can use my new blends? Of course we do. He's cinnamon cider now. And the leaf is just jade. Check this out. I'll tell you what, there, there is all wrappers all over my floor. <laughs> oh, isn't he gorgeous? So, I'm just going over the shaded bits in the dark. And this is the light one. Sorry if you can hear my tummy. It's telling me it's past tea time. Who needs food when you've got new stamps, eh? So that is the cinnamon cider and just jade. So do the same, put the dark over where the shaded bits are. That's quite a nice colour. That's a really good colour for leaves actually. I'd have gone for mossy meadow but Mossy Meadow is a bit of a dark green, whereas this has actually got some vibrancy behind it, but it's still not Granny Apple Green brightness, you know? Oh, there are flowers at the end. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to get to play with my um, magenta madness again. I can, I can sense it. So, the light one. Hillary, 
this was a good choice. This is a nice set. This was a set that like fell in my basket. I honestly didn't didn't pick it up on my shopping list. I didn't think about it. And it was a last minute. Oh, I like that. I'll quickly pop that in. So anyone who's watching, I have a new Facebook group called um, Slim and Stylish's Crafty Handout Hangout. I keep saying handout, hangout. <laughs> um, over on Facebook, where we're all sharing different crafty bits. Um, not just me. You're welcome to share what you're making. So I'd love to see what you're doing with the new products. I know some of you are already in it, but anyone else, feel free to pop along and find us. I do like that magenta madness. It is, it is bright, but it is like pow. It's beautiful. So there we go. He's quite nice. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I have, I haven't done it. Um, this is the. Misty Moonlight, but it's also in the new ink colours. I am going to colour him in completely um, in the Misty Moonlight, so you can see. I wouldn't have done normally, I would have left it normally, him going on there. But I want you to see what Misty Moonlight looks like, so... Experimenting with the new colours, we can't leave one out, can we? I feel we should have done though, I feel Misty Moonlight's a bit too dark to go around the edge of my squirrel, but... We will live with our decisions. That's Misty Moonlight. I wasn't going to go all the way to the edge, but I feel now I'm going to go all the way to the edge because I feel like I've committed. I also think that if you're going to do this, you need to uh, colour it before you punch it so you don't have to go around the edges. But I never thought about it at the time, so. Delayed thinking about it now. Do you know what? That's what Misty Moonlight looks like, so you can see it. But I don't think it's right for my, my, my squirrel, because you know. I don't think it's right for my squirrel. I liked him as he was. I'm sorry, my back. Hopefully, my back. Well, in the meantime of freezing, which I'm sorry about, um, I decided I didn't like my um, squirrel. I wanted to show you all what Misty Moonlight looked like, and I feel I've shown you, but I don't think it was right for my card. So, I'm, uh, I'm going again. If I'd have frozen right, you could have had it like blue and then white. <laughs> you wouldn't have had to sit through me doing it again, but it won't take me long. But yeah, I just, I wasn't too keen. I thought the Misty Moonlight was a bit too dark for the background. It's a lovely colour, but just not right for... 
for my squirrel. So while I'm just recolouring him, what set will we all be getting? Is it any of the sets I've used or are we going for separate sets or what's everybody thinking? What's first in their shopping basket? Yeah, I'd have been happy with a Twilight Squirrel but when it was going onto this card I just felt it looks, looked a bit like pow and I wasn't I quite like it being more subtle like that um, dimensionals There we go. What colour are we thinking for the pack? I'm thinking um, cinnamon cider to go with my squirrel. It means it's a nature card. Oh, Kay's getting the zebra. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Does anyone remember the pandas from a few years ago? They were really adorable. And um, everybody wanted them. As soon as I saw the zebras, I was like, they are, they're the pandas again. They're going to be the set that everybody wants. So, let's pop out of there. Some glue. There we go. And I've got my little dots out. So, some cinnamon cider dots. Much easier to line these up if you've got your piercing tool, by the way. Just as a heads up. <laughs> I like this one, Hilary. Good choice. So we have Kay and Karen with the the punk zebra. <laughs> she's just cute. I'm, she's here, so as I'm crafting, she's like, she's looking at me, she's laughing. Let's make some space and bring them all back in. Ignore my very dirty grid paper now. So yeah, we have, have this one here with Field Journal. Zany Zebra and Gorgeous Poses. The other three we've done. Have to let me know which one you like the most. But yeah, if you if you are on here and um, you're new, we do do, or you haven't caught me in a live before, I do do a live on a Sunday afternoon at four o'clock UK time. So feel free to come and join in. Love to see you. Um, check out my Facebook page because what I do is about two hours before the live I put up what you will need to craft along with us so you can come in and join us. Um, do head over to Slim and Stylish's Crafty Hangout which is my Facebook group. Um, I'm trying to sort of start that up and get everyone sharing different bits and pieces and if you are in my European region and you don't have a demonstrator and you would like any of these products just drop me an email slimandstylish at live.co.uk this will all be in the description below or you can go to slimandstylish.com which is my website head to my store and use the hostess code and I send you a free little gift as a thank you for shopping with me so I'll see you all soon thanks for popping in RK yeah the zebra is lovely but yeah Thank you. Have a good rest of the evening or Norma. It means you're in the morning. Have a good rest of the day and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.